I'm meteorologist Michael Lodovino with the Six Storm Team, and today I'm going to be discussing the names that you'll hear of, of tropical cyclones. Usually you'll hear tropical depression, tropical storm. So what do those names mean? Well, a tropical depression, that's when storms are building around a surface circulation. Typically with these, you see minimal impacts as the winds are generally less than 39 miles per hour. After that, the tropical depression will form into a tropical storm. A tropical storm, you'll see the rising air in the storm begin to intensify. That's when you'll start to see a lot of the storms build across the center. So overall, it's getting stronger. You'll see stronger winds, and you could even see some damage from tropical storms. The winds for tropical storms are sustained between about 39 to 73 miles per hour. If you do notice, as the names are changing, the winds are getting stronger. Now we get to hurricane status. That's very strong. You'll see rising air near the center. And that's when you'll start to see an eye potentially develop. Once you see that eye develop, you certainly know the storm is getting stronger. You'll see dangerous winds, extensive damage possible, depending upon how strong the hurricane gets. The wind scales generally go from about one to five, so a category one storm to a category five storm, five obviously being greater, and sustained winds are also greater than 74 miles per hour. Once you get past the category one to a category two, you get into the major hurricane status that would be a category three to a five. These are extremely powerful storms. They can really impact certain areas, potentially cause catastrophic damage, catastrophic flooding as well. And the wind scale again for these are category three to a category five and sustained wind speeds are at least 115 miles per hour and greater. So now when you hear these terms in the future, you'll certainly know what they mean. I'm meteorologist Michael Lodovino with the Six Storm Team.